All right, Shalom, Shalom. We we'll am give all praise. I'm an hour. Yeah, Bashem, Ashak, Yahushah. Bashem, Kakwadash. Peace and blessings to all the blood ones baptized in this new covenant for the mission of sins. And today we're going to be dealing with um, the new covenant <clears throat> and what uh, the foreshadow of things in the law, right? Which, like the scripture says, the law was a foreshadow of things to come. All right, so this is why we reference the law a lot of times, beloved, to show the foreshadow of things to come. It's not that what uh, we think we're better than you or anything like that, or we think we're more holy than you, because that's not the case, obviously. All right, we bring out this law to show you the things that was written for time and the things that were what a foreshadow of things to come, like uh, the Lord Yahweh Shai, all right, <clears throat> spoke of uh, uh, the. Uh, the serpent of brass man which goes back to what the things that was written of old right uh when uh moses did that in, in the in the law man all right so the lord yahweh shah made a comparison to what was written in the law man all right <clears throat> all right which was what a parable of a what uh things to come like the scripture says what the law was a foreshadow of things to come Right, so when the Israelites did this back in the old and everybody that got saved that, you know, seen the serpent on the pole or whatnot, they was what? Uh, they was delivered, man. All right, so just like, you know, all the beloveds that believe on the Lord Yahweh Shai being crucified on the cross, all right, going to be delivered from what? The wrath to come. Like the scripture says that we should uh, be saved from the wrath to come. All right, because there is wrath coming, beloved ones. And the Lord... Is gonna save his beloveds from that by the by the blood, man. All right, so this is a uh, John chapter three, verse um, fourteen. John three and fourteen. It says, "And as Moses, as who, as Moses lifted up the serpent, what Moses do? Lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so." must the son of man even so man even so not you know we're bringing you back to the old and trying to bring you in the bondage right the lord yahweh Shah said even so just like it happened in the old all right that everybody had to believe on that serpent on the pole you're gonna have to believe on the lord yahweh Shah when he was what crucified on the cross man all right even so what um must the son of man be lifted up right and he was lifted up in uh put on that cross man all right and everybody that believed on the lord yahweh Shah gonna be delivered man that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have eternal life so the opposite of eternal life is perishing there is no oh perishing i i you know i got eternal life but i perished i no nah, man the scriptures tell you you either get eternal life or you're gonna perish man in the second death okay so let's keep it going it says uh for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So he said, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, man. So the Israelites that believed on that work through Moses, they were they were delivered, man, in the wilderness. So let's go that, to that example in um, Numbers 21. All right. This is Numbers. It's a lot better. Numbers chapter 21. All right. Even as Moses lifted up the serpent, man. Even as, man. Just like, man. All right. Even as Moses lifted up the serpent, even so should the son of man be lifted up. And what? He, he was lifted up on the cross and he was literally what? Lifted up into the heavens, man. All right. So this is Numbers 21 and I believe 9. And it says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent. Do what? Make thee a fiery serpent. And set it upon a pole. Do what? Set it upon a pole. Right? That's why the Lord Yahweh Shai said as this, uh, Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, man. So the Son of Man was that example on what? That we should believe on him and we will be delivered from what? All the venomous uh, serpents and, and, and uh, scorpions in these last days, man. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass 
and put it upon a pole and it came to pass that if a serpent had bit any man right meaning if any man was into sin right remember the scripture says flee from sin as the face of a serpent man or you come too no close to it you it'll bite you right right the pocket for say beloved ones so what we had to flee from sin as the face from, of a serpent man all right it says and it came to pass that if a serpent had bit any man right meaning what if you fell short of the lord's grace when he beheld the serpent of brass he lived man all right so that was an, a foreshadow of the lord yahweh shai man and the lord yahweh shai said what be wise as a serpent man all right which means to what be be clever man be cunning all right and how are we cunning we're cunning with the lord's wisdom knowledge and understanding through this new covenant man. which just makes us wiser than our enemies like the scripture says okay so uh you know it's beautiful man you know the lord yahweh shai said what even so must the son of man be lifted up as what the, the serpent was lifted up uh, in the wilderness, man. Everybody that, that looked and, and saw and believed, they were delivered. Just like <laughs> the, even the thief on the cross, man. Even the thief on the cross, man. He saw the Lord on, 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 that, on that pole, on that cross. And he believed and he was delivered, man, from his wickedness, man. So the Lord has power, all right, to re remit sins, man. All right. And he has power to forgive, heavy forgiveness, man. So, you know, walk in love and forgiveness with loved ones. And, uh, you know, keep, keep, keep grinding, baby. Shalom.